third day of ownership, it's time to do some fun things. Before we do anything fun, we need to fix this piece. Today, we're gonna change this tire. It came with this. I really don't wanna change this tire. This might be a pain in the ass, it might be easy, I don't know. But I don't really wanna do it, but we got it. If only this was a rear tire, I could do a burnout and get more use out of it. But there's really not much use to get out of this. If I hit one grain of sand, I'll slip out on this bald ass tire. I'm gonna change this tire, and we're gonna clean up the bike. And then we're gonna rip it and burn some tires. Just test it off road a little bit. It's gonna be a fun day, besides this. The size on the tire is 110.80.17. This tire, this tire is 120.70.17. I am not a tire size professional, but I think we, I think it'll fit. But I'm pretty sure these are tubeless. I did notice damage on the new tire though. This, you see this right here? See this damage? See that? But we're gonna send it. I really wanna grab a knife and just pop this one, but in case this doesn't fit, I'm not gonna pop it, in case we need to put it back on. Now the real question is, how the heck are we gonna jack this thing up? How? I've never had to lift such a big bike up in the air before, so I'm, I don't really know what to do. There's not really any good jacking points. But there is one of these, like, moped kickstands that'll lift it off the ground and keep it stable. So I think I'm gonna struggle, probably, but try to put it on that kickstand. If I even can, I don't even know if I'll be able to. And then if I can get it on that kickstand, then I'll just maybe get a jack and just raise the front up a little bit. So now you can watch me struggle to put it on this big kickstand. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. I don't even know where to start. Oh. Okay, we might, we might be able to do it. I'll break my back, but we might be able to do it. That was scary. Oh, that's stable. What if I just... Oh, yeah. All right, yeah, we could definitely just lift up the front. Look at these dual, dual caliper, dual rotor brakes. Very nice. I'll just treat it like a dirt bike and just get to it. I'm not trying to do this. I just did the paddle tires on the quad. I found a lot of tires. I gotta do a tire on the CRF 100 from that burnout video. Tires are a pain, man. Took the cotter pin out. Now I need to crack this. Probably should just be using a socket. Lazy. Boom. That wasn't too hard. I should not be using that. Put my foot under it. I don't know, I'm gonna have to be careful taking that thing off. Wow, that came out easy. My foot is under it still. Nice and greased up. I'm putting it on paper towel, don't worry. Keeping it clean. That'll come down. Uh -oh. oh. There's a spacer on the left side. I didn't even see that. All right. Yeah, this I can forget where something goes. Got the camera. That's the wheel speed sensor or whatever. It might be a pain putting it back into these brake calipers. We'll find out later. It's not even coming out. Not, oh, it's caught on the on the caliper. The rim's hitting the caliper. How the f what? I gotta use my brain for a second. What am I supposed to do? It's still not all the way out, so I can't rotate these. Bruh. Bruh. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Bruh. Kidding? What? I might have to just take the calipers off. 
I'm gonna have to take these calipers off, which actually might be easier to put it back on later anyways. Here and here. That looks like a 14 to me. 12, the honestly terrible guess on my part. Terrible guess, that was two millimeters off. Come on, you suck. Might need some leverage here. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, all right, we need leverage. Man, you hear that cracking loose? Crazy. Let me take that. I'll take this one off and I'll do the other one off camera. Save some phone storage. Crap. It's like I can't even take it off because it's still hitting the rim. Uh oh. So I feel like something. My brain farting here? It's still hitting the rim. I can't even take it off. To nest it out a certain way. This is a dumb design. Unless my brain's just not working and I'm missing something. Okay, I just forced it off. Alright, that's fine. Guess you just gotta force it a little bit. The brake pads do have plenty of life left, but those are good. Here she is. Time to take air out of this. So like this poor rotor is just gonna eh, no, the rim eh, we'll be fine. Time to break this bead. Look at this five million IQ move here. So I'm not going to film the whole process of changing the tire, it's going to kill my storage. Alright. Oh man, this thing is tight already. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Maybe I have to DB the other side. I'm gonna put the new tire inside so it heats up. I think I need to DB the other side. It might make my life a little easier. All right, after a little spraying, prying, and hammering, we made some progress. DB to this side. Let's see if it's any easier. Man, this is, this is messed up. Go. All right, that new tire is gonna be a pain. Pretty easily. All right, bang bang. Buy a tire. This might be a pain. This might be easy. This is gonna be a tough one. This seems a little wide to me. Seems a little wide. Like, look at, oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm gonna get this to fit. Probably just hammer that. Finally. Everything went back together pretty smoothly. After a very long time, it's finally done. Look at this. This is a small leak. Now, I'm just gonna put some slime in it. It's such a small leak. Where is it? It's a pretty small leak. It's a pretty small leak, so I think with some slime and fill up the tire with a lot of air, I think we'll be all right. I just put so much slime in this tire. Um, I put slime in, filled it up with air. I'm gonna like dry it a little bit just so it spins it around. Uh, here we go. See if it's leaking currently. Well, I don't think it's leaking. It's not even leaking.
All right, well, I guess we're good. Time to clean this thing up. It's cleaning time. I dried it up. I think I'm just gonna hand clean the rims and then ride it. This is much cleaner up here. It looks much nicer up here. Uh, I'm gonna have to degrease or do whatever, get that stuff off. This compound, stuff here and there, but for another day, we just shined it up a little bit. The rims are bad. We need to hit the rims right now. These rims do need to be washed and detailed thoroughly off the bike. It's very difficult to get to it on the bike. So we'll definitely do that another time. And we'll do all the other small detailing stuff. So we did a little baby wash. Let's oil the chain and drive it. how hard I try, it will not let me put it in gear while it's up in the air. There must be a sensor or something, like I've revved it to like five or 6,000 RPM, put it in first with the clutch in, and it just turns it off. It will not let me spin this wheel in gear while the bike is in the air. So where I even held the brake to make sure it wouldn't spin, I tried everything. Oh my gosh, this thing is so fast. This is insane. Let's do some burnouts. put down some soapy water and do a second gear launch. Spin it as much as I can. stop as fast as I can using both brakes <laughs> it's time to do some launches on uh, dirt and, and rocks <laughs>
it is way, way too muddy to go down there. I cannot go down there. I almost fell over. And gotta wait till it dries up. Almost got stuck too. We definitely need it to dry up if we want to go down in the track. We're gonna need to dry up. It's way too muddy. Almost died. Front tire works and it's holding air. So that's good. Definitely had no grip in the mud, obviously. So maybe in the next one, we'll take off the wheels again, fully detail them, make them look as good as possible, detail a other few small parts. Soon, we're gonna paint the whole thing either gold or green, like Kawasaki green, like I said. So comment what you think we should paint it, unless you have any other ideas. This thing's running really good. The poor starter, I keep turning it on and off a bunch of times, but oh well. Eventually, we'll have to take this out on the road somewhere uh, totally legal and uh, test out the power. Honestly, the main reason I wanted something like this was so I could spin the wheels on the pavement. That's a blast. That's really fun. We'll definitely have to do more of that. Maybe do a super long burnout. Lots of crazy things we're going to do with this. This thing's pretty solid for now. Uh, I have a bunch of other videos I kind of want to do. So this might sit for a little while. I have, uh, I have nitrous for my dirt bike two-stroke exhaust on a four-stroke, and a few other things here and there I kind of want to do before we paint this. But who knows? Whatever happens first happens first. Content's just going to keep coming. Very nice. <laughs>